chemistry made easy with bright edges. In today's video lesson, I'll be discussing about De Broglie's wavelength. I'll be solving different practice problems that will help us understand this concept better. First thing first, De Broglie's wavelength is given with the symbol lambda. And it has a formula which is H over momentum. Now, the question we ask ourselves, what does H imply? What does the row here imply? Now, H talks about the Planck's constant. And this symbol here is momentum. And momentum is given by a formula which is mass times velocity, or you say mass times speed. Now, bringing this into this formula, the Broglie's wavelength becomes H over mv. Now, H here is called the Planck's constant, and it's actually a constant which is 6.626 times 10 raised to the power of minus 34 joules times seconds. This is the Planck's constant. Now, in solving problems on the De Broglie's wavelength, this is the formula you must memorize. Now, you can see this practice problem written on the board. Now, let's go ahead and solve this question. Now, the question says, what is the De Broglie's wavelength of a 75 grams ball moving with a speed of 42 meters per second? Now, it should be noted that in solving problems on De Broglie's wavelength, the mass should be in kilograms, not in grams. In solving problems on De Broglie's wavelength, the mass should be in kilograms, not in grams. Now, how do we convert gram? How do we convert mass from grams to kilograms? Remember the conversion factor that one kilograms is equal to one thousand grams. 1 kilograms is equal to 1,000 grams. So basically, converting 75 grams to kilograms, we have X kilograms is equal to 75 grams. We cross multiply, and X kilograms becomes 75 grams times 1 kilograms over 1,000 grams. Grams comes, cancels grams, okay? So the X kilogram value becomes, so this is the value we are to impute in the formula. Recall, in solving problems on the Broglie's wavelength, the, the Broglie's wavelength is given with the symbol lambda, and it is equal to H, which is the Planck's constant, over momentum, which has a formula mass times velocity, or you say speed. Now, lambda becomes, let's impute parameters. Now, Planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 raised to the power of minus 34 joules times seconds over the mass in kilograms, not in grams. So basically, it becomes 0. 0.0. .0 75 kilograms times the velocity, which is same as the speed, which is 42 meters per second. Now, what will be the value for our plant's constant? The value becomes 2.1. Sorry, what will be the value for the wavelength, which is the Debrugge's wavelength, which is the meters, 2.1 times 10 raised to the power of minus 34 
meters. So this is the answer to this question. Remember, De Broglie's wavelength is given by the formula H, which is the Planck's constant over mass times velocity. Now, let's quickly move over to another practice problem that will enable us to understand this concept better. Now, let's quickly move over to the second question. Now, the question says, what is the De Broglie's wavelength of an electron? Moving with a speed that is 5% the speed of light. Now, recall the formula for De Broglie's wavelength, which is lambda is equal to h over mv, which is mass times velocity, which is same as speed. Now, the question asks yourself, the mass, is it given in the question? Yes, it is given. And we were told that the particle was an electron. Now, what is the mass of an electron? The mass of an electron is basically 9.11 times 10 raised to the power of minus 31 kg. This is the mass of an electron. Now, the velocity which is same as the speed is given but in statement they said speed of light now what is the value of speed of light basically it is theory times 10 raised to the power of 8 meters per second but the question says what is the de broglie's wavelength of an electron moving with a speed that is 5% the speed of light. So we need to get 5% of speed of light. 5% of speed of light is simply 5 over 100 times the value of speed of light, which is 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meters per second. So we won't hit our calculator we get 1500000 meters per second. So this is the value for the speed, which is same as the velocity we are to use in this question. Because the question says 5% of the speed of light. Now let's impute parameters. Remember, they said electron, and what is the mass of one electron? 9.11 times 10 raised to the power of minus 31 kilograms. Remember, I said, for solving problems on De Broglie's wavelength, the mass should be in kilograms. Now, let's impute parameters. Remember, the Planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 raised to the power of minus 34 joules times seconds dividing mass which is 9.11 times 10 raised to the power of minus 31 kg times velocity which is same as speed of light and they said 5% so this is value we have to use so let's pull this time form we get 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so we have 1.5 times 10 raised to the power of 7 meters per second. When we hit our calculator, the value for the, the Broglie's wavelength becomes 4.85 times 10 raised to the power of minus 11 meters. So this is the answer to this question. Don't forget to subscribe to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo for more videos. Thanks for watching.